Hello everyone, how's it going? It's the Professional here, and today we will, we will be reviewing the last aircraft that I did not review, the Ultralight. Now, the Ultralight is the easiest aircraft to get the trade-in price with only needing to do three source missions, and its original price is $665,000, and if you do three source missions, just pick up three crates, um, or pick up four crates at a time, doesn't matter if you just do three missions in the hangar, you unlock it for a trade-in price of $500,000. Now, let's get straight down to customizing this thing, shall we? I'm actually really surprised that this thing has flares. I didn't expect an aircraft like this to have flares. So again, we're upgrading everything, EMS, race handling. I didn't like the liveries on this plane that a lot of them were Meriwether. I personally didn't like that. And for me, it doesn't make sense because I'm constantly fighting Meriwether a lot of times, so I'm going to avoid the Meriwether livery. And uh, here I may decide to make the bars golden here to spruce things up a bit. And this thing does have a machine gun. The machine gun is kind of like a little ball turret that you control where it can, um, it can pretty much go all over the place even behind you but can't go exactly completely behind you and this thing does have a special fan right here that you can go off the radar with right here i wanted to test this machine gun out to basically just see how effective it is now this what i like about this machine gun is just you can just turn it and you can just spin it around so much but what i've noticed is that this thing um it, it takes a lot to blow up a vehicle like i mean you can still blow up vehicles with it this is definitely better than, than the night shark machine gun for instance and the machine gun that spawns on a lot of uh, other vehicles but Again, it's not the greatest machine gun. I wish that it was a kind of a little powerful since this is kind of a glider. You know, you'd wish you'd have kind of a little more powerful of a weapon. Now, what really disappoints me is I don't expect this thing to be a tank because, I mean, it's a glider. But what I do expect is I expect the engine to be able to at least take some punishment and some damage from bullets at least. And look, I, I didn't even get into that much combat. I just got, I have a three-star wide level. I got shot up by a police helicopter, got shot up by cops here. And look at this. My engine is pretty much done at this point. I can still fight, I can still fight the helicopters chasing me. But it doesn't really matter because I can't really outrun them because my engine, my engine is pretty much done. So just getting shot, uh, getting shot a few times, you can make this engine give out, and pretty much, uh, pretty much the vehicle, the vid vehicle is pretty much done at this point. Yeah, I can't do anything. Yeah, so the engine on this thing is really weak, and you get this thing shot up a few times, even with the armor upgrades, you're pretty much done with this. Yeah, its engine can't take many bullets. Here, I wanted to test out the effectiveness of the of the ball turret gun, kind of, and what I would. Would I be able to kill somebody standing perfectly still with this? Now, personally, I, in my opinion, I find this easier to shoot for, from this thing in first person, first person mode than third person mode. I can see, I can see the ground and target a lot easier. But what's annoying about this game is that the, that a lot of the, a lot of the people on the ground, it's like they, they, they don't render yet. Like when you're flying there, you guys will notice it. Like I'm flying right towards a target and I can't see him from this distance. Just only when I get closer that I'm able to fully see him. And another thing about this aircraft that is, that's extremely annoying, as you guys are seeing right here, is this thing is just so, so hard to turn. It's so, so hard to turn. I understand that it's a glider and all, but if I'm buying, like, race handling, I don't expect, like, perfect, perfect, like, turning, but at least something better than this. Like, I'm trying to turn right now, and it, this is just so annoying. Like, I have to almost completely flip this thing in order to be able to turn around. I mean, just like look at just look at how annoying this thing is to turn. And even when I'm doing runs here and I'm flying right down towards the target, I'm not able to completely hit him. So even though this gun this gun is better than the typical guns that were like on a lot of other vehicles and that I can turn it a lot, it's not the best gun to kill people with certainly. And additionally, the whole off the radar thing. What what got me the most angry about this vehicle and and this got me really frustrated was the vehicle doesn't tell you when you go off the radar. I really wish. I really wish this would tell you when you go off the radar. I wish it would like give you a signal, a little timer, and say you're off the radar now. Because and then when you pick up like when you start picking up a certain amount of speed and you pull up, then at that point, uh, then at that point you're not on the radar and you're not off the radar anymore and you're on the radar. And I was asking my friend, am I off the radar here? Off the radar, he says he says I am off the radar here at this point. But when I pull this thing up and I start going faster, that's the moment I, I'm on the radar again. And it gets me so frustrated that this aircraft doesn't even tell you when you're off the radar. That's so frustrating because, you know, the whole point of having like an off the radar option would be able that you would be able to sneak up on people or get away from people, either one. But just the fact that you have an off the radar option and this vehicle doesn't tell you when you're off the radar just makes it so frustrating. And you could you could be trying to sneak up on somebody thinking that you're off the radar or trying to escape and you're really, and you're really actually on the radar and then you get killed because of it. So I can't even kill him right here. This is just this is just um, really disappointing right now. 
Here I wanted to demonstrate a landing of this aircraft, and this aircraft is pretty pretty easy to land. The only problem is that if you try to land this aircraft on a street, you're probably going to get caught on light poles um, and other objects. But if you're landing on a runway, it's pretty simple to land and very easy. Here we are testing the damage this thing can take, and what's strange about it is that in one missile it kills the driver, but in two it's destroyed. And here we got the pros. Now this thing can go off the radar, it has a rotating machine gun as you guys saw, and it's easy to land. And on top of that, it's the cheapest It's the cheapest aircraft um, in Smuggler's Run, it's $500,000. And here we have the cons. So as you guys seen, this aircraft is horrible at turning, and another one is one missile and you're pretty much dead at that point. And it can take two missiles technically until the thing is destroyed, but it's really destroyed technically in one missile because the pilot dies from that missile, that, that strike. And the thing then plummets to the ground and it's destroyed. So it's technically destroyed in one missile, even though it strangely can take two. And the engine dies from way too too many bullets. So as you guys seen, I was getting chased by a police helicopter and it lit me up a bunch. And the, even though I had the armor upgrades, it was not able to, to take that. What's the point of the armor upgrades if the engine dies so easily from it? And I guess an advantage of this aircraft over other ones is that it can glide for a little bit after the engine dies. But still, then it has no real speed. And the machine gun, it's not strong enough to hit ground targets. The machine gun should definitely have a buff. The machine gun should be more powerful, and I do think it would be balanced. Because, I mean, this is a glider, so, like, what, what kind of a threat are you really going to have from this aircraft? So, the machine gun should definitely have a buff. And finally, this is this is the one that, that got me the most angry, this con. Now, I, I played around with this, and I didn't figure out a way. I don't think that, that this thing, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I don't think this thing informs you when you're when you're not on, on when you're off the radar and when you're on the radar that's what gets me so frustrated about this thing is i don't know exactly how fast i'm supposed to go or how slow or how much to the ground because if you fly a certain distance close to the ground and if you and if you fly at a certain speed you're off the radar but the thing doesn't tell you when you're when you're off the radar which makes it which makes the whole thing useless because how am i supposed to use a vehicle that i can go off the radar with when it doesn't tell me when i'm off the radar you get me so it doesn't really make sense to me and i really wish they would in a future patch they would fix that because if this if this vehicle can go off the radar even if the machine gun is 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 isn't that great that's a really big advantage over other vehicles. No other vehicle in the game can do that. That's something, you know, you can get away from other players or sneak up on other players. And that's something that could be really useful. But I just wish the game would tell you when you're going off the radar at least. But unfortunately, it doesn't. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I am working currently on my Smuggler's Run Money Guide. It will be up in a few days. I just have to fill up my hangar. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.